Today we're making a delicious pasta. It's creamy, it's cheesy, and all the flavors really work together. It's one of my favorite pastas of all time. So let's get started. Today we're making spaghetti carbonara. And today we're gonna be taking it one step further and making the pasta from scratch. All right, enough talking, let's get started. We're gonna start by adding one and a half cups of all-purpose flour onto our counter. And we're gonna make a well in the center. Now we're gonna set the bowl off aside. And we're gonna go ahead and crack in two whole eggs. Gotta do this one with the one-handed egg crack. And then in this bowl right here, we're gonna crack in two eggs. And we're gonna just go ahead and separate just the egg yolk. So we'll go ahead and do that again. Crack it in here. Scoop out that egg yolk and place it on in there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add a tiny drizzle of olive oil and a small pinch of salt. Now we're gonna pop those egg yolks and mix it in. This is gonna make about three to four portions of pasta. You can double the recipe if you would like. And we'll mix that in. Keep pulling flour from the edges until the egg mixture becomes a paste. We'll keep mixing it in. Once you got that sort of paste, I'm gonna go ahead and scrape everything off our fork. And now we'll gently fold it in, like so. Mix everything into the eggs, and then we'll go ahead and knead it. Time to knead. We'll knead this for about 10 minutes. Keep kneading our dough until it comes together. This will take about 10 to 15 minutes. You really wanna make sure you incorporate everything. And if you're wondering why my dough is slightly orange, it's because my egg yolks, as you saw before, are slightly orange. These are fertile eggs. While it's not required for this recipe, I would highly recommend using them if you can find them at your local grocery store. After about 10 to 15 minutes of kneading, this is what it should look like. We'll cover it in some plastic wrap and let it sit in our fridge for 30 minutes to an hour. This will help the gluten rest and it'll make sure that our dough doesn't tear as easily when we put it through the pasta machine. After our dough is rested, we'll go ahead and take it out of the plastic wrap and we'll evenly divide it into four pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and flatten out the piece of dough. You can use a rolling pin too, but your hands will work just fine. We'll go ahead and run our pasta through the thickest setting. Now we're gonna go ahead and fold it. And then flatten it out. I'll do this to remove all the air bubbles. We'll do it two to three times.
In the end, you should get something like this. Now we'll run it through the spaghetti attachment on your pasta machine. But you wanna cut off this part right here. You wanna make sure it's nice and straight. So we'll run it through the spaghetti attachment. Move our machine off to the side. A tiny dusting of flour. There it is. Generously salt your pasta water. Now we'll go ahead and wait for the water to boil. Once your water starts to boil, go ahead and gently add your pasta in. Fresh pasta cooks faster, so cook it to al dente for about two to two and a half minutes. Our pasta sauce, we're gonna crack in two eggs into a bowl. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add two egg yolks. Now to our eggs, we're gonna add two different types of cheeses. Our first cheese here is Pecorino Romano. The second cheese I'm using is Parmigiano Reggiano. This is the authentic Parmesan cheese. And so this is a really good cheese to use in all pastas. These two right here are some very delicious cheeses. So using my microplane, I'm gonna go ahead and grate in a bunch of Pecorino Romano. And you really want to get generous in there. You'll notice that in a few seconds that the cheese will literally turn into nothing because the eggs are going to absorb all that cheese. So you really want to be generous with the cheese. Okay, now we'll go ahead and grate some Parmigiano Reggiano. You also want to be very generous with this cheese. This is kind of like an arm workout. Now we're gonna add some freshly cracked black pepper on top. We're gonna be generous as well. Now we're gonna pop those egg yolks and mix in the eggs with the cheese. This should turn into a nice paste. More Pecorino Romano. And now we'll go ahead and add a little bit more Parmigiano Reggiano. We'll go ahead and mix that in. It should be left with a nice paste. Off to the side here, I have our egg and cheese mixture and we'll slowly add some hot pasta water to adjust to equalize the temperature. Slowly add it in and mix. This is gonna help melt the cheese and adding it slowly will prevent the eggs from scrambling. So what I have right here is called guanciale. It is cured pig's cheek. I know this may be a little hard for some of you guys to find. So alternatively, you can also use thick cut bacon, which is available in almost all stores. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this in half. Peel this outer layer out. Then we'll cut this in half. And we'll cut this to nice little cubes. Put that around. Like so. Your cube should be cut like this, and we'll go ahead and set that off aside. Now in a cold pan, I'm gonna go ahead and add my guanciale in. That way, all the fat can nicely render out. And move it around occasionally. Once all your fat is rendered, go ahead and strain most of it, leave a little bit in the pan. Now on very low heat, I'm gonna go ahead and add our pasta in. Now go ahead and mix it up. And now we're gonna go ahead and add our egg and cheese mixture. We'll pour that over. We'll gently mix that in.
So now we're gonna go ahead and plate. Using these tongs right here, I'm gonna grab some pasta and twirl it around. And then onto my plate, I'm gonna add some guanciale on top. And finally, I'm gonna add some freshly grated Parmigiano Reggiano on top. Just a little bit. Let's go ahead and try the pasta. We're gonna grab some of the pasta, some guanciale, cheers. This was so good. The creaminess from the eggs, the two different types of cheeses, the guanciale, it all really worked together to make this amazing pasta dish. So comment down below what other pasta recipes I should try next in the future. This was so good. And please remember to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, with the post notification bells, and I'll see you guys in the next video.